Pulled from a plane, video now seen by millions on social media, even by President Donald Trump. And now the airline does a flip-flop, apologizing to that passenger who was dragged on the plane. Good afternoon, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. Just within the past hour, we're hearing from that passenger himself, who we now know is a doctor from Kentucky. CBS 2's Roseanne Teas joins us with more. Roseanne. Well, nearly 48 hours after the incident, Dr. David Dow is recovering at a Chicago area hospital, and we have this statement just released on his behalf. It reads in part, the family of Dr. Dow wants the world to know that they are very appreciative of the outpouring of prayers, concern, and support they have received. Currently, they are focused only on Dr. Dow's medical care and treatment. And tonight, the airline says no one should ever be treated this way. After a passenger now identified as Dr. David Dow of Kentucky was forced off this United flight at O'Hare, the airline called him disruptive and belligerent for refusing to give up his seat when asked. Tonight, United CEO Oscar Munoz offered his deepest apologies, calling the incident truly horrific and saying we're going to fix what's broken so this never happens again. The public outcry reached all the way to the White House with spokesman Sean Spicer sharing President Trump's reaction. I, I don't think anyone looks at that video and isn't a little disturbed that another human being is treated that way. Clearly watching another human being drag down an aisle, um, watching, you know, blood come from their face after hitting an armrest and whatever. I don't think there's a circumstance that you can sit back and say this probably could have been handled a little bit better. Transportation professor Joe Sweeterman places blame with the Department of Aviation security officers. A lot of people are asking the airline to take blame for something that uh, to a large extent was, was rough treatment by the airport security which is uh, out of the airline's hands. The airline now says the flight was never overbooked, but it was full when they attempted to position crew. The pilot can order you off the plane for uh, lots of reasons. And if you're bumped, there's a series of compensation uh, uh, thresholds that, uh, that you're entitled to. Sweeterman says it wouldn't be fair to other passengers for the airline to cave in to everybody who complains. But tonight, United is clearly changing course, Rob and Erica, and promising a review of their policies. Coming up at 6, one Chicago congressman now calling for a law to make sure nothing like this ever happens again. So this doctor is from Kentucky, but he actually has family here in the Chicago area. He does. We reached his daughter by phone this afternoon, and she put us in contact with the attorneys. And, uh, you know, again, family just worried about his health at this point. What a difference a day makes when it comes to messaging from United. That's right. They apologized, but clearly credited their crew for handling it well yesterday, and that's mm. not what we're hearing at all tonight. Okay. Thank Thanks, you.